We're making the fudgiest chocolate popsicles that we're then going to dip into magic shell and top it with something delicious. Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitale, and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, we're making chocolate popsicles. These are phenomenal, they are creamy, they are rich, they are fantastic, we love them. The magic shell dipping is totally optional, sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. Nine times out of ten, I have a batch of these in the freezer, which I actually do right now, um, but they're in a different popsicle mold, so that they're really small for Mia. Um, and sometimes I don't put the hard shell on it, but it is really good with a chocolate hard shell, magic shell, if you like that sort of a thing, which I do. But let's work on making the chocolate popsicles. They're really, really easy. You'll need a combination of whole milk and some heavy cream. If you want to do this with like some plant-based milk and some coconut cream, you can, and they will be fantastic. So we're gonna add them to a saucepan. And then to, with that, we are going to add a combination of there's flour under here, <laughs> there's unsweetened cocoa powder, and there's some sugar. I'm gonna add that right in. Please don't mistake unsweetened cocoa powder for um, hot chocolate mix because it's not the same thing. You also need some salt. I am using vanilla sugar because I tend to always keep a few jars on hand, but if you wanna use regular sugar and just add a small splash of vanilla, please go ahead and do that. So now at this point, you also need some semi-sweet chocolate chips, by the way, or chocolate chunks, whatever you have, which I will grab in a minute. Now, at this point, you're just gonna whisk, whisk, and cook this while constantly whisking until it comes to a boil and it starts to thicken. You will think many times in this process that your chocolate isn't gonna blend, this isn't gonna turn out well, but I promise you, once the mixture gets really warm and starts simmering, everything kind of starts melting and getting to know each other, and it's amazing. So you're just gonna have to have patience, which I don't have the most patience. I have patience with kids. I don't have patience with adults. <laughs> I have patience with kids, um, but even I can do this. So just stand here and whisk, whisk, whisk. Making these popsicles takes no time. The longest time is for them to set, which I usually leave them overnight or at least like six to eight hours. But they are so simple and they are the absolute best. My mixture is up to a light boil. I've been whisking the whole time. It's getting nice and thick. You wanna give it time, don't rush the process. It does take a good 10 minutes before it even comes to this point. Um, and you are gonna have to like whisk the entire time because you don't want anything to burn or scorch or anything like that. In the bottom of the same measuring cup I had my creamy mix milk mixture in, I added some semi-sweet chocolate chunks and I have a sieve over the top because I just like to pass this through a sieve just in case anything has scorched or anything sticks, or there's any like lumps of anything, uh, which there usually aren't, but you know, you just never know. You never know, maybe sometimes like a f there's a flower lump here or there, but typically it's pretty good. And the heat from the custard will kind of melt that chocolate kind of instantly. Don't move. Kind of instantly, but if you just wanna let it sit there for a second, and get your popsicle mold ready. Now, this popsicle, popsicle mold is really old, but I love this one. Um, how many of these make? I don't know. It depends on the size of your popsicle mold. Um, this one is one of those that you have to put the popsicle sticks in a few hours after you have this in the freezer because otherwise you need it to be firm. You need the, the chocolate base or whatever base you're using to be a little firm. I'm just going to go ahead and start mixing this from the bottom. I want to mix in that semi-sweet chocolate. If you could look at the size, side, you can see that it's melting and it is just so good. Mia loves these, we all love these. It's pretty phenomenal. And you're really only using four tablespoons of sugar for the entire thing. Um, so it's, you can feel a little bit about, a little better about giving kids your chocolate popsicles, you know. But once in a while, a treat is a treat. So I'm not too worried. Mm. It's so good I could just drink it. All right, I'm just gonna wait for that to mix a little bit more. And now you're just gonna go ahead and uh, fill your molds. I mean, it's really easy. It's really simple. These are so creamy and delicious and fudgy and the best, the best. They're not too sweet. They're really good. So I'm just gonna take my time. I don't wanna 
make a mess. These are gonna go into the freezer overnight. In a few hours, I'm gonna come in here and just stick my popsicle sticks in here. I have a, a little bit more batter here, so I know I have a few empty popsicle molds from the ones that I already have in the freezer, so I'm gonna go fill that up, but I will show you what they look like when they are frozen and ready to be dunked into our hard shell. All right, my popsicles were in the freezer overnight. This is a second batch because the first batch, uh, they are all gone as of this morning. <laughs> Um, I told you we love to keep them on hand. I also really love this popsicle mold because the popsicles are really small. Perfect for kids, perfect if you don't wanna have really big popsicles. Anyway, I digress. We are going to make the chocolate hard shell. Now, like I said to you earlier, you don't have to. And truth be told, to the big batch that I made uh, yesterday that they're already all gone, they didn't get served with a chocolate hard shell. I prefer it, but it's okay. You don't always have to. It does take things over the top a little bit, a little bit more indulgent, and you can also top the chocolate heart shell uh, with whatever you want. Like some toffee bits are fantastic. What I really like to top it with, and what I'm gonna be doing today with mine, is I like to top it with some sea salt because it makes this entire thing so much better. In here, I've got chocolate and I've got some coconut oil. Um, I prefer to do this in a microwave rather than a stove top and a saucepan because you can burn the chocolate easily if you're not careful. I don't have a microwave in this kitchen. But this 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 is my note to my cameraman slash husband slash life partner slash I beg for things because I need things and he's gonna make it happen because I need a microwave down here. Uh, for things like melting chocolate and softening butter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and melt this. It's almost where I want it. It's gonna happen really quickly and then we will Dip. Chocolate is fully melted. I find it easier if you're gonna dip it like I like to. Um, I find it easier to place the melted chocolate mixture in a cup. Um, but if you're gonna drizzle it on there, then you don't have to. I'm a dipper because <laughs> why would you want one side coated when you can have both? So you take your popsicle, let them come to room temperature for a few minutes so that they slide out easily. I dip about halfway. Shake off the excess immediately with whatever topping you're gonna to top this with, you have to do it while the popsicle, uh, while the hard shell is still hot. And then look, it's gonna take seconds. It's not gonna take very long. And they're so beautiful. And they're so good. I have yet to find anyone that doesn't think these are the best chocolate popsicles they've ever had. And I'm being dead serious. They are not icy and like, they are like creamy and delicious and sweet, but not too sweet, especially if you don't do the chocolate hard shell. But if you do the chocolate hard shell, the salt is a must because it kind of makes everything taste better um, and it cuts down some of that sweetness. But that is what you're looking for. That is the best chocolate popsicle you can make this summer and mama is so happy. This popsicle mold is perfect, the size is perfect. If you follow me on Instagram, I will link it there for you. So many of you ask me to make uh, like an Amazon page for a lot of the things that I use and I'm gonna work on that. So just bear with me, but for now, we dig in because this is set. Mm. I'm not a biter because it hurts my teeth, but mm-hmm. It's the best. It's the best. Go to laurainthekitchen.com. I hope you enjoy spending time with me. The recipe is there waiting for you. A must for the summer. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.